Hi, I'm Angela Hicks with the Hicks Vocal Studio. Today, I'd like to focus on a vocal warm-up, and the vocal warm-up I'd like to focus on is called sirening. There are many different ways that you can do a siren, and I'm going to show you a couple of them. The whole point in doing a siren is that you can feel the connectivity as you move from register to register, and you can fill in the gaps in the seams, and you can see how the sound moves in your nasal pharynx from low to high. The goal is, is that you want the sound to stay mainly in your nasal pharynx, so you can do it on any type of sound where you feel a lot of buzz in that area. The more buzz you feel in the mask area here, um, and the less you feel in the oral pharynx, and especially in the laryngeal pharynx and with subglottic pressure, the better. So you can do it on an mm, um, any vowel that, that makes or, or any vowel sound as well. I like to use an E. E, and the whole goal is that you feel all the resonance happening in the nasal pharynx, not in the oral pharynx or in the laryngeal pharynx. So you can feel how the sound moves and how you can transition between registers. So you can start off with a simple octave. E, and the goal of the siren is that you're really experiencing the journey and not the destination of the note. So you don't want to go e, but you want to feel all the sound and the connectivity. You should feel as you're sliding from the lower pitch to the upper pitch, a slight um, lift. You'll feel a lift going up as well as a little bit of a back curve. So it's almost like a little C curve that's happening here. We're going to gain depth and height as we're going from low to high. From high to low, we're going to feel as if the sound is surfing down and forward while you're making an adjustment in the back, lifting and moving forward like this. So it's how a wave moves in the ocean if you want to think about that. So I would start off e that's middle C to high C, and then you just move up in half steps. E e and you want it to be really stretchy and yawny and, and um, just nice and open and, and fluid as you're moving from pitch to pitch. My most favorite method of doing this is just taking a fifth. E down on the way down so you can really concentrate on the way down because I find that being the more difficult way because typically on the way down we'll let it fall backwards instead of really finding that transition for the sound to move forward. So I like to slow it down, just go up a fifth and slowly down. E or e up in half steps up and down from there. You can absolutely push the limits of your range with this if you so choose. Okay, thank you. That's it for today. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a message on my Facebook page at Hicks Vocal Studio, or you can email me at Angela at HicksVocalStudio.com. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. In the meantime, keep singing.